Hi guys, Hyperladov here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some uh, gameplay from um, Homefront, actually, where I'm playing some team deathmatch. Um, I'm, I'm really going to talk about th something else, but I just an awesome uh, question on Quora. It's a service where you can ask questions and people can answer, and it was uh, the most epic picture ever taken, and it, it was. It was just a compilation of really epic pictures, really, and not just in in the epic, in the sense that many mean now that it's just awesome or or cool in some special way, but it's epic in an in a way that's really hard to explain. It's just breathtaking, I guess. And I'll link to the uh, the question and answers in the uh, description below. But it was just. Wow, <laughs> that's that's what it was. Um, uh, yes, but <laughs> what I really wanted to talk about is a um, is a statement, or rather a focus. I don't know what to call it in English, but the fact is that lately Nintendo's been bashing on the iOS platform and mobile platforms in general. And saying that they are not viable ga mobile gaming platforms, and that the they don't think that they are tr that that's true gaming on the go, and that their nin uh, their Nintendo's their gaming platforms, the DS and the 3DS and so on, those are the r what a real experience should be when you're on the go, when it comes to gaming, and. They've been really bashing some of the more independent developers that's been making money off of iOS. You know, like Andreas Illiger from Germany who made Tiny Wings, which is an incredibly popular game on the on the iPhone and diaper Touch, but that uh, for that matter. And I think that they don't realize that iOS is a really great springboard for. Um, not only independent developers and small developers, but also for new gamers. Because what you have to realize that small developers have a platform to publish their games and it will reach a large market pretty easily. I mean, it's not easy to kind of uh, penetrate through all that noise that is different apps being released all the time, but at least it's easier for people to get to their game uh, compared to just the raw internet and just putting up a, up a website on your uh, on your blog or something so I really think that it also comes to show some kind of an accomplishment uh, which the developers can show uh, show to when they're for example being interviewed for a job because a lot of game developers big studios look for talent and by showing that you've actually managed to publish something on the app store you're actually showing talent and if your game is brilliant then you're a more it's, you're a better hire than someone who hasn't so you know I think it's a great way for people to get noticed and when it comes to gamers a lot of people that it's not who's not really gamers have been starting to game on the iOS platform because it's so easy and because some of the games are pretty addicting but it may also open them up to more traditional kinds of gaming where they may start start up playing Angry Birds or Tiny Wing for example and after a while they may start seeking out more in-depth or more satisfying kind of games and they might find those on the iPhone but it might also trigger them to kind of in for example, invest in a more hardcore gaming console, either like a PS3 or an Xbox 360, but also something a mobile, perhaps like in 3DS, DS, or a PSP or an NGP when that is released. So, I really think that while Nintendo is bashing this kind of platform really hard, I really think that it may actually really just nurture independent developers, small developers, 
uh, development individuals and also aspiring gamers and new gamers and people who didn't really know that they were into gaming because I really think that's what iOS and to some extent also Android has been able to do is really just um, appeal to more kinds of people instead of just a traditional gamer who's always known that he's into gaming and has always been gaming at some extent. So that's the end of the clip here. I um, hope you check out the link in the description and I hope you learned something I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Snack it.